This this is what you consider threatening. Like he's wearing a, a sweater with a, a, a bear on it. Hello, this is Masamaki21 here with another installment to one of the greatest PS3 games ever made and ever will be made. Okay, maybe that's going a little too far, but it's a really good PS3 game. Yakuza 3. Now, continue from where I left off. Uh, I think the last thing I did, I was talking to... Uh, the the doctor I think it was a doctor a scientist uh, Mr. Miyamide I think it was the guy who looked like Doc Brown so first I need to figure out where I'm at obviously I'm not at chapter six <laughs> um, I should be here on chapter nine I think there's like fourteen to fifteen chapters in this game so I'm I'm almost done with it in terms of the main story but then there's still like a whole bunch of extra content in terms of side quests and and uh, stuff like that collectibles and things of that nature which I never finished on my first playthrough so I thought I was gonna try and do all that on this playthrough but it doesn't seem to be working like that cuz some of the uh, completionist things are a little bit harder to do I didn't even do that it looks like Timmy's car is in here I should go Oh, this is where I saved. I have to go see Date about uh, going to the diet building. Who's this? Uh, I don't think he's saying anything important. Let's check my sub stories first. Let's see where I'm at. I got 35 out of 36, and I bet I know which one I'm missing. It's the guy with the bowl of ramen. He's never there. I don't know where I'm supposed to meet him. He might be at the store right now. <laughs> I don't remember which way to go to get to the store. Uh, I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Um, there's a guy standing over there. All right, I'm gonna go down the street. I th am I? Wait. <laughs> I'm 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 lost because I don't remember. I'm trying to remember in my head where it is. I could look at the map, but uh, I know it's in an alleyway somewhere. It's in one of these alleyways. No! <laughs> he almost got me. Ah, uh, there's another guy. Where? Oh, he's standing right there. This this is what you consider threatening. Like he's wearing a a sweater with a a, a bear on it. <laughs> like. <laughs> What? You haven't been to the video store yet? Just go over to the guy working there and say, you got the mixed bathing hot spring special. What video store? How do you... I remember, like, trying to do this before. I don't even know where the video store is. Oh, Cosby almost caught me. <laughs> he can't cross this line. I want to see if I can buy some new weapons. I actually want to go fix my weapons because I got a few weapons that are uh, pretty much busted. And I mean, I've said this multiple times. It's it's pointless to get your weapons fixed because they're, it's so expensive to fix some of them. You, it's just not worth your money to be uh, putting down for for weapons. You'll be better off just. Uh, I think this is the place. That's it. Yeah. Let's see if he's in here. I don't remember if you come back in here and meet him or not. Uh, I'm trying to finish this. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't remember. I think I, my friend was doing the voice for this guy. And he hasn't been over here in a while, so I gotta do it. Um, what do you think? I made sure the poke bone marrow was thoroughly simmered into the broth. Well, I think you got something here. In fact, I'd give it a passing grade for instant ramen. For... Instant ramen? Yep. Hell, I tell you put a lot into this and the bone marrow flavor comes out strong. Be honest with me, that's not the response I was looking for. It's still not good enough, is it? Tell me the truth. Size. <laughs> no, it's not. The bone marrow makes a big difference, but the pork bone taste is much too strong. If you can figure out how to tone down the pork bone a bit, you'll get that burst of flavor followed by the marrow's smooth riches. Got it. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> to Kyushu. I want to learn how they make their broth in the home of pork bone ramen. I guarantee you, I'll be back with an answer 
and it's gonna knock your socks off. You'll see. I don't do it as good as my friend. He made he made the guy sound so tired. <laughs> Can you believe that kid? He never stands still. All right, I, hold on. I gotta drink something so I can do my Kazuma voice. This doing Kazuma's voice really fucks up my throat because it's like a mixture of Solid Snake and Batman. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. <coughs> me, 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 me. Alright. Mm, I can do this. I can do it. It's been a while since I did it. So, he already put together a new sample, eh? That kid's got spirit. And he wasn't talking about you. Said he saw a vision. Thanks for your fighting. Uh, what? What did I just read? Alright, screw it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What will you have today? Nothing, actually. <laughs> I just came to see the kid. Uh, my, my throat was a little sore. Not not from doing any voices, but uh, when I woke up, it was kind of scratchy. Hey, Grandpa, where you going? <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta go to the new Serena and see... I remember there was there was some emails I got from Mac. I think there was one about the my favorite special. Let's see if this was it. Yes, it is. This I'm I'm telling you guys right now. This is like one of the coolest specials in the game. I just gotta get to the chick. Who's this? Hey, buddy, I got something for you. Boy. Hey, buddy, I got something for you. Just take a look. That's all I ask. What is it? Excuse me. Ugh. I don't have it here. Come with me, okay? Hello. What? Here, check this out. A brand name bag. All the hostesses are crazy about them these days. These baby... Babies... D what? These babies... D How do you say that? <laughs> these babies... D cost you 70,000 yen in a store. But I can cut you a sweet deal. What do you say to 50,000 yen? Why are you selling this here anyway? Oh, you know, I used to have my own store. This economy, man. It's the pits, right? It's closed my shop right down. I have a lot of debt left, so I have to make money. Oh, <laughs> I have to make money somehow. If I try to sell my goods to a wholesaler, they beat the price right down. Every little bit helps, you know. Hi, lady. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So listen, for only 50,000, no, 40,000 yen, 40,000 yen, and this bag can be yours. You'd be doing me a big favor. Well, let's, let's bargain. I might just buy it off you if you can lower the price a little. Are you serious? I'm only selling a 70,000 yen bag for 40,000. If I make it any lower, it'll be below cost. Then you'll have to ask somebody else. 38,000 yen. That's my final offer. Well, might want to drop that price a little bit lower. I might just buy it off of you if you can lower the price a little. Aw, oh, man, you're killing me here. I told you that was my final offer. Then you'll have to ask somebody else. Uh, 37,000. 37,000 yen and not a yen less. I'm serious. Well, you have to drop that like a little bit lower. <laughs> hey, I said not a yen less and I mean it. I gotta make a living too, you know? Okay then. 36,000 yen. Take it or leave it. Well, I don't want it. You'll have to ask somebody else. Oh, too bad. I really do think I've got some quality merchandise here, and I mean totally top-notch stuff. Well, if you change your mind, come on back. I'll be waiting for you. I won't budge from this spot. I think I actually have to buy it from him. How much money do I have? Like half a million. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> I saw something sparkly. Oh, those are just those things. Um, I need to get to I think Nakamichi Street. I don't remember. 
I don't, wherever the ninja chick is, I, I know the street, but I don't remember the name. It might be, it's either Nakamichi or Tenkaichi. So I'm gonna go this way. I hate how you can't use the subways. I mean, you couldn't use the subways in the fourth one, but you can go down there. Spoilers! Sorry. <laughs> I haven't played the fourth one for you guys yet, so. There she is. She's standing over there giving up. Oh, no, that's something else. That's for, like, a... I'm not gonna say. Female voice time. Yeah, let me just drink some more fluids. Cause I gotta go high for this one. Ah. Okay. Hold up. <coughs> me 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 me. <laughs> Six. Wait, no, that's not right. Six. Oh. Six years of my brother's life has been stolen due to a false charge. I'm asking for any help that can get to save his life. That I can get to save his life. Sorry. It can't be her. Read the truth. I'm mad his name is Kid. <laughs> hey. Oh, Kazuma. What are you doing standing around here? And who's that? What's she handing out? I think that's... Hey, you over there! Take these or I'll kill you. It is you! You're that journalist! Uh -huh. Um, uh... Look what happened to my brother thanks to you! What happened? <laughs> Kazuma's like, huh? I never intended for that to, um... The media only cares about itself. Do you have any idea what horrible things happen to the people in your stories? I, uh... My brother didn't kill anybody! Leave Brittany alone! <laughs> Sounds like you two have quite the past. Yeah. What did you do to her? Maybe we should talk someplace else. Okay, let's go. I mean, nobody's not paying attention to us. <laughs> People will walk around us, but I'm pretty sure they won't come up to us and be like, Hey, what are you talking about? Six years ago. There was a murder here at Cafe Alps. Here? The suspect was a man named Ichi Akichi. That woman you just saw is his sister, Nozomichi Akichi. I can't read. <laughs> Yuchi... Yuchi Akichi? <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <sighs> Yuchi Akichi? <laughs> I investigated the story and wrote an article indicating Yuchi as the murderer. And this was the article that woman was talking about. Right. That's right. Yuchi has consistently denied any involvement in the crime since his arrest. I only have... I only half believed he did it myself, even though I was the one who wrote the article. What? You're a horrible journalist. You sound like the people who work at IGN. <laughs> I didn't even want to publish the thing, because I didn't want to make Yuchi out to be the criminal before he had all the facts, before we had all the facts. Don't tell me. It got published anyway, right? I was the only person in the department who even considered Yuchi's innocence. And I was just getting my start as a journalist, so I had to follow the department's lead. You sick son of a bitch. I intruded into Yuchi's life in the name of the investigation. I interviewed his relatives and even people in his neighborhood. And as a result, Aichi's family started getting labeled as that murderer family. Eventually, they even had to move. Fuck. Poor Nozumi got bullied a lot at school, too. That kind of stuff happens. But I guess she does have a pretty good reason to resent you. Ah. Ever since Yuchi was declared guilty at trial, I can't stop thinking about her. Should I have written that article? Were the charges against him false? False? You mean there's a chance Yuchi didn't do it? What makes you think that? I actually used to have a part-time job here a long time ago. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't do the Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> I worked with Yuchi. We talked all the time, and I got to know him, his personality. <clears throat> I just don't think he's a murderer. Huh. After the story got published, I swore I'd never repeat the same mistake. Our mission as the media is to pursue and report the truth. That's the type of journalist I decided I wanted to be. Except journalism isn't like that. 
So, are you really just gonna let this go? What do you mean? You still have doubts about the case, right? Well, yeah. Then shouldn't you be trying to find out the truth? I... You know what? You're right. I think I gave up after that article came out. But you're absolutely right. I think I'll reopen that in... La 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 la. <laughs> I think I'll reopen that investigation. But I wonder how I should go about it. I mean, it's been six years since the murder. I guess you gotta start by talking to everyone related to the case. Sure, but... But... Hello? Kazuma, do you think you could help me? Huh? If I don't find out the truth, I'll regret that article for the rest of my life. Help you investigate a murder from six years ago, eh? Alright, I'll do it. Alright, I'll do it. You will? Hey, thank you! Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. I don't play this. Oh, I gotta read it because they're not talking. Alright, here's the rundown. Oh, wrong voice. Alright, here's the rundown. <laughs> My regular voice is his voice. Oh, oh now it's set to actual. Okay, can I put autoplay? There we go. ウェイターの木下さんという男性でした。当時、この店のウェイターだった明智雄一さんは清掃作業の途中、店の裏のゴミ捨て場に行こうとしました。その途中、ロッカールームの前を通りかかった時、雄一さんはわずかにドアが開